Hello everyone, I hope you're well. And today we're going to complete our reflections on Psalm 91. As we look together as a church about what it means to dwell in the shelter of the Most High and to rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And so I'm going to read from verse 11 of Psalm 91. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. And I guess my thoughts today are very simple. It says in verse 14, because he loves me. This is God entering the psalm and speaking, saying, because he loves me. And who are those who love him? It are those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High. Those who rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Those are the people who love him. And this is not saying that we need to work towards dwelling. We can do that because of what Jesus has already done for us. We can do that because Jesus has already overcome the great serpent. He has already overcome the great enemy, the enemy that brought sin into the world, that tempted us to turn our back on God. He has been defeated by Jesus on the cross. And the sin that we have done, the death that we deserve, was taken by Jesus on the cross. And we have his life. We can be victorious. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. And we know that this psalm has talked about a thousand falling at his side. We know that this psalm talks about the perilous pestilence, the disease, how appropriate for us right now. But we know that because we love Jesus, he will rescue us. Because of what Jesus has done on the cross for us, we can be set free. And there's that old song, isn't there, that says, I call out to you again and again. You are my rock in times of trouble. You lift me up. When I fall down. That's what happens when we truly put our trust in him and we choose to dwell in his presence. And one final picture that this psalm conjures up is of the high priest standing between the enemy and the people, standing there with the Ark of the Covenant which represented the very presence of God and he would declare over the enemy and over the people of Israel, we will not be defeated today because God is on our side. And this is the Lord's battle and God always wins his battles. God has won the battle over our ultimate enemy. One day we will see that in its fullness and there won't be any more sickness and there won't be any more death. But until then, we can rest in his presence. We can dwell in his shelter and we can know that there is nothing that will overcome us because Jesus has already won the victory. Let's thank Jesus that we can come into his presence and rest there, and he protects us. Amen.